Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to route audio to multiple outputs in GrooveAgent. So whether it's within a VST rack or a VST instrument track. So with the GrooveAgent already selected as an instrument and in the rack, all I have to do is click on this instance, go into this window, the inspector part, and right here there's an activate outputs button beside GrooveAgent. Click on that. Down here is where you get to select how many outputs you want. So let's pretend we want two stereo outputs. So we'll select those. Next, go to the little button here on the left, Show Hide Automation. Here are your main outputs right here. And then your extra outputs show up below it. And here you can even name it. So let's not write my name. Oops. <laughs> write Kick and Snare. So now, when you go into Groove Agent, there's two things you got to keep in mind. If you're using Beat Agent, all you have to do to send your um, samples and whatnot is go to your MPC pad, and then you right-click on it, and up here on Assign Outputs, you assign that output to wherever you want. So now I'm going to go uh, to Output 2, which is my kick. And then for other ones, you could do the same. All the other things here are being sent to um, a bus within GrooveAgent. So, and all the buses get sent back into the main or the master out, which is this one here. So now, let's go back here. Um, yeah, so now we can see here this kick is being routed to here. Snare is being routed to there. All the other things are st they're still within the master outputs here. So that's for beat agent. If you have acoustic agent or percussion agent, there's a different way of doing it. Um, because they have a dedicated mixer section and everything that you can do within it means that there has to be a way for Groove Agent to have all its routing within Groove Agent and then it'll send all the outputs back into Cubase but so go into the mixer window here and each element will be situated here on the very top is where you click on that and here's the all the different output options here I have kick on output 2 snare on output 3 and just like beat agent we got the same kind of thing happening kicks are coming out here snares here the rest through the main outputs all right, so now if you have it within the VST instrument rack, uh, here's my instance of Groove Agent. On the right side, there's the exact same button, Activate Outputs. That's how you do it here. Uh, this is a very popular thing to do um, within Groove Agent. For one, because you want, let's say, just one instance of Groove Agent and you want to save the CPU um, by having only one instance of it but you want multiple samples coming out of GrooveAgent, but you also want to either mix within Cubase, so ha have the ability to um, put inserts and sends for each element, or you want to, let's say, have the kick as a sidechain uh, send, and then you can send that to whatever sidechaining you're going to do. So those are two very popular reasons why you would want to do this. So anyways, thanks for watching, leave a like if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye bye now.